We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. One more time. Come on, let the room fill with praise. Sing a song. Jesus. Sing a shona happy. Sing suga. Let God hear your voice. Sing a shona Sing a shona. How cost we bonk about potile? Those that have let you down. See suga. Let's hear the voices unto the Lord. Sisuga Gue. Amoinguela. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God and you are our Father. Thank you that you are about to come through in our lives. Everything that has made us cry, you are taking care of us. We love you, we adore you, Lord. Hallelujah. Tatalongo to Monanam Sanje. Obo se pagate na pagate. Ashay shomega kulu. Symptomis. Hallelujah. We may be seated in the presence of God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, worshipers. Greetings to all the pastors.
the servants of the Almighty God. Uh, greetings to all, uh, oh Baba and oh Mama. Fathers and the mothers. Our four to know that they wait in the brothers, wonderful name of Jesus. Brothers and sisters, they come in the healing of Jesus. And those that are here for the first time, we greet you. Stand Amen. Amen. Um, Transcenders and everybody, be greeted in Jesus' name. Those that are serving us with instruments and instrument. voices unto the Lord, uh, we thank you. We well, thank God for you. I see. God bless you. Welcome, sir. And we thank God for your life. Um, and uh, before I preach, Bazalwana, let me do this announcement. Firstly, let me thank you all for the service yesterday. What a service. Amen. So that the daughters can really cook. Yeah. Amen. Ashamed when you are giving them food. We should be able to cook this one. <laughs> Jumping men do it. Not too much, but they do consume uh, too much. Yes, we thank God. Uh, uh, and our sons and our daughters. Uh, the leadership of our mama, the leadership of the whole church. Uh, thank you for everything. Trendsetters. Uh, everybody, Bazalwane, uh, Ama, Ama, PMTs, they are, they are always excel. And we thank God for that. And we missed you. <laughs> Amen. And uh, uh, I, I want to say this tomorrow. Uh, there is a prayer for all churches in this Kawi. So, you know, Bazarwane, I'm the chairperson there. And uh, uh, um, we go about to the church and we go to the that you, Amen. all of you are present. We go prayer. Especially about this Kawin. Please be there. Uh, even everywhere, those that uh, can go, let's, let's go and hear God speaking. Uh, it's going to be the prayer because on the 3rd to the 6th there is an annual convention for uh, Eskawin ministers right now. So you are, you are invited. Amen. 3 o'clock I'm a PMTs I'm a musician I'm a musician who can go to a Baptist because there is a briefing there. I think it's tonight, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, is it tonight? Yes, it's tonight. Uh, those that can go. Amen. Baba Kona. They can be there. Um, uh, the, we're reading uh, the book of <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, with the reading of the this scripture, welcome all of you. It's good to see you. The book of Job, chapter 42. The book of Job, chapter number 42. Amen. 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 <laughs> but we're reading from verse number one up to verse number five where it reads thus. I'm convinced you can do anything and everything, nothing and no one can upset your plan. Ujobe waise mpendi ujo oba wati ngiyazi uguti ungenza gonke alina kuvinjwa ikebo lako. This is 
is one of the most powerful verse. Uh, you asked, who is the mudding the water ignorantly confusing the issue? Second, guessing my purpose, my purposes. I, 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 I admit it. I was the one I beg, I babbled on about things far beyond me. Made small talk about wonders way over my head. Ngubani Ositeza is Lulego Engenagwas na Gikulumile Loko Ginga Kakonda Ginga Ginga Konda Anga is the Mangalises in Kulugunami Ebengazas. Ngushinja Lele Humush Lefunu Mosh Gandhi Angwabo Nigatama Vesak. Job chapter forty two. Uh, let me let me start afresh. Then Job answered the Lord and said, I know that thou canst do everything, and that no thought can be without withholden from thee. Uchobe was in Penduruch of Overwati, Giazi Uguti, Ungenza Gonke. Who is he that hidden counsel without knowledge? Therefore, have I uttered that I understand not things too wonderful for me, which I knew not. Gubani Ositeza is Lileko, Engenaguazina, Nikulumile Loko, Ginga Kondanga. Here I beseech thee, and I will speak. I will demand of thee, and declare thou unto me. Age ungizwe, ngikulume mina, ngiakubuza wena ungaziz. I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear. But now mine eyes seeth you. Kanti zuile ngawe ngoguzwa kwezindebe. Kepamanje isolam liakbon. Still doing Bazalwana the teaching or the 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 Siri. Um, the chosen's la- victory is assured. Now the words, whatever that you are going through, your victory is assured. We are the kind of people that goes to battle having one. <laughs> In other words, we don't fight to win. But we fight to prove that we are winners. I think, I think you, must, you, must, you must digest that. Jesus never went to the cross to try and overcome for us. But Jesus went to the cross to prove to the heavenlies, to prove to the devil, to prove to everybody that what he was doing, he did it before the foundations of the world. So now Jesus never went to fight in order to win. He won before he fought. I want you to I want to, to take that thing into your spirit. For whatever that you are going through, you are not going through because you are expecting some victory. But you are getting into it to prove that God has already finished 
about you before you engage yourself into that bag. Let me come back to this to, to these fundamentals, the for, for fundamental points that I've been uh, teaching all, over the weeks. The first thing is that what God is about to do, the most wonderful and the greatest thing. Firstly, He will choose somebody that makes that person a chosen one. So when God has got a purpose, has got a purpose, He will reveal the purpose to those that He has chosen and make it a clear picture where you are going to. Others may call it a vision. Others may call it a, a, a destiny. Others may call it a dream. But God will make sure that he reveal it to you so that when you get into the journey or into the fight you don't fight looking down but you fight looking at the end point where you are going to so now Barcelona you need to understand this that you know uh, when he has chosen you he chooses you because of his great purpose or a great thing that he wants to do and then he will reveal a clear picture for you where you are going to but number three he will he will he will not reveal to you what you are going through. You see, he will allow some of the things to happen into your life so that, so that the, the, those things may prove that God has already finished about you. Now, 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 the last point that I always talk about is that the guy, the God who chose you and the God who revealed the clear picture to you and the God who allowed all the difficulties to come into your life that same God is going to come down and guard you through every difficult things that you are going to in other words whatever that you are going through and that you are going through you are not alone he is with you. Guiding you. You know, so that whatever that comes and hurts you and afflict you will never end you in affliction, in total disaster. You, you will end up a victor because your victory is assured the devil will never have an upper hand on your life come on are you still with me Bazalwa? some of the things that uh, you know I, I've spoken about the chosen how does God chooses <laughs> and then I've spoken about uh, I think it was last week where I talked about the, the vision or a dream you see, you see, Bazalwane, uh, when we look at Genesis chapter number chapter number 37, there are a couple of things, Bazalwane. I want to take you back. Can I? Can I can I take you back? I'm going to be out of your sight in a moment. You see, in in the in the, in the book of Genesis chapter number 37. 
Genesis chapter 37. We see that, you know, when you read verse number one. Are you with me, Pastor Luan? When you're reading at verse number one, the Bible talks about uh, uh, the people, the people, the generation of Joseph, of, of Jacob. But if you look at it, you can see that that chapter does not talk about the generations. It talks about Joseph. So now, God is taking the whole generation and put it upon he was going to do through Joseph. In other words, the generations of Jacob depended on what was going to happen in the life of Joseph. So, uh, God did not have to to, uh, to to call their names so, so that they form the generations. He had to mention one guy where the generations will be uh, everything about the generations will be fulfilled through his life. Uh, no, I, I, feel, I feel something is happening here. When, when I want today after this service, I want to prove to you that whatever that is not nice, whatever that is difficult, that is happening to you. It, it, it happens to you because a lot of people depends on what is happening to you. God is talking about the generation but he ends up talking about one man. What is it that was going to happen to this man? He, now, he then received a dream. <laughs> Are you still with me, Basalwan? He was at the age of 17. And then he received a dream. In verse number 5. This is the vision. This is what I talked about last week. And then he narrated the vision to his brothers. And what did his brothers did? They hated him. They hated him. They did not know that them as generations they depended on what was on this trip. I spoke to you last week. Can I preach as I feel? You know, I spoke to you last week. That you know, you know, uh, uh, this dream, it was a dream prior to the recession that was going to take place. And then God was revealing to them then there is a recession. There is an economical meltdown. Every man, monetary, is going to lose uh, the value. And then he told them plain in this dream that they are their success was not going to come from uh, Ilokuza, uh, the gold and silver and everything. It was not going to come from bitcoins and from all those things. But it was going to come from agriculture. And then the agriculture was going to uphold the economy of the world. And then God says in this in the scripture, you know, you know what you must know is that the dream of economy going up. Uh, it's it's for you, the sons or the generations of e of Jacob through. Through, through, through Joseph. So now, 
They hated him. They did not know that they were held hating their wealth. They thought they hated the man. But they did not know that they are hating their wealth. If you read this scripture, number one, they saw they hated him. They put him on the pit. You see, number three, uh, they they sold him. Three things they've done to a person who was the source the powerhouse of their generation and then they sold him and then they sold him they did not know that they are selling a dreamer together with his dream are you still with me Bazalwa? so now the dreamer is in Egypt with the dream <laughs> the dreamer is in Egypt <laughs> with the dream <laughs> now when the recession finally hit <laughs> it was in Egypt <laughs> where the king <laughs> received the dream <laughs> that he, he did not understand <laughs> and he called the dreamer <laughs> To come and explain the dream. Joseph did not know. That the dream about, about the king. Pharaoh. It was similar to the dream. That was given to him. Because God will make it clear. Right in the beginning. Before you get there. And the Bible says. When they when they started when 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 he he he, he when he interpreted the dream you know you know the dream eh? so he interpreted the dream and then in Gen- in Genesis chapter number forty one verse number forty one Genesis forty one verse number forty one the king Pharaoh says look because of your interpretation. I sent you on charge. Pharaoh thought he was putting him in charge of Pharaoh's dream. But he did not know that he was putting him in his initial dream. Dream about agriculture. Okay, okay. But you know, you know, uh, when he went through the pit, when he went through the hatred, when he went through being sold, he did not know that he was carrying the answer to the world for the world. You know, you know, I, I, you know, I feel every time I preach, I feel like God is about to do a great and a massive thing through somebody who is right here. <laughs> who is right here? I don't know who is that. Because God has got no respect out of men. He uses whoever that he wants to use. So that was the dream. He revealed something to, 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 to Abraham. In Genesis chapter number 12. He, he reveals things. But let's come down. To, 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 to this that he allows. Painful things. To happen. Why does he allow them? Why do you have to go through? with a divine vision with a big thing that God has given you why do you have to go through why do you have to go through that pain and cry why let's, 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 take, let's take this this scripture that we read today 
It is, it is, it is Job. Job. And he is saying, Uti. Now, everything that you that that I said, everything that I've gone through, I thought that I understood. But today I know that I don't understand. <laughs> I don't I know. And now I know that the purpose of God can never be stopped in every even if you go through some stuff. But whatever God destined can never be stopped by anything. This is what he's saying in verse number two. But in verse number three, he says, who is this? That has hidden all this knowledge to me. I nearly, I nearly uh, denied him. I nearly, uh, I nearly, but uh, I even incited him because of the thing that I was going for. Who is this God? But now I beseech thee. Now, please listen to me speaking to you. In verse number four, listen to me. I will demand of thee and declare thou unto me. And then he says this. This is his demand. He said, I've heard of thee by the hearing of the ear. But now I see you. In other words, whatever that he got before he says those are the things that I heard about I thought I knew you but I did not know that it was the knowledge through the hearing but now today I see what I heard about I see, I see what I heard about in other words I want you to know God I perceived you to listen to me no man have a good book but then go petty I have a mistake that I've done because I said how can you allow me to but hear me, Lord. I thought I knew you by the hearing of a But I'm setting your peg. And then I can conclude that the purpose of God can never be hidden in the I want you to catch that statement because it's too, big. it's too big. It can never be hidden. In chapter number one, Job chapter number one, there is something that is so powerful. There. Job chapter number one. I wish, I wish you can go there. You know, you know the Bible says Job. Job. The man in the land of Uz. And his name. It is the position of employment. The position of a post. That's, that's the meaning of the word job. Are you still with me, Basalwan? Uh, it is, it is, it is, it is uh, put in the Bible. That is the position that will cause the prosperity of Job. So now we see the vision of Job in the name of the vision. That Job was a man. Why are you daughter? That was given the highest position. The position of prosperity. Is You understand, I'm, I'm getting somewhere. I'm getting somewhere. In other words, whatever that was going to come. The name was going to remain. 
Then, then even Job without no skin. Then with him having no wife. Because the name can never be changed. Because of the thing that you are going through. We are born normal. We are figuring the most dangerous. If the situation can come and surprise apart and put you under, but the vision, but the vision, yeah, is still standing I still. It can never be changed. I it cannot die. Omo no more. No, it's got a vision. I will feel. Your vision can never die. I will feel. It's not changing. I will change. It was in your face. Can never be changed by the tears. In, in verse number, I think it's in verse number five. <laughs> where, where they explain, you know, that Job had, uh, you know, always they had feasts. In eating and drinking. And then he went to God. He said, Lord, forgive me. I don't know if he was learning a scatter each other. The time they were celebrating. You see the work of a parent. Sometimes you stand between your children and God. God put a wrath upon you. God will reveal yourself. But you know, in Bible, it is. But the Bible says, Uma essence and jalo job. We have done that job. Let the Bible look at verse number seven. Verse seven. When the Lord, to verse number six, when the Lord was minding his own business in heaven. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. When, you know, in verse number six, now there were a day where the sons of God came to present themselves before God. And what happened? The devil showed up. Satan was fig. This thing amazing. The devil cannot be forbidden to come. I to heaven. can not stop the devil to enter heaven. The devil was seen in heaven. And God knew exactly what the devil was up to. In verse number seven, verse the complete. Lord said unto Satan, said to Satan God, God is speaking well to the devil. Baba ne conversation Baba Ega. Hey, no. God is so wise that he can reason with the devil. Don't be in a hurry to chase away the devil. What the devil trying to take away from you. I'm being the food. Satan. He should get out, Satan. Satan. He can use even the devil to lift you up. Amen. Now, now there is something the devil shows up, and Satan God is saying, Satan, whence cometh thou? Satan then Satan, Satan was it? answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro on the earth, and from walking up and down. You know, you know the devil is is explaining to God his duty. The work of the devil is to go to and fro. So in the end, he had in you, in you or in your family. No, that, that is his duty. To and to, fro. And he says, Utige. going up and the down. Yuga, the That's, that is the duty of the devil. No, Let me do a job description here. He job description is to go to and fro. Up 
and thou. That's the work of the devil. And he says, Uti. as I was doing the job, he's like saying, you Uti. remember, Uti. you throw down, you throw me, you threw me down to earth. I am doing what you threw me for. Going to and fro. So going up and down. Okay, okay. So now he, he says Uti, in verse number seven, in verse number eight, verse and verse the Lord said unto Satan, Why said he, Hast thou Satan? considered my servant Job? Yet there is none like him. Perfect, upright, and fear of God. He hates evil. We have sown the ubu. Satan, ufuna lolo shobolondo. We are praying. God is breaking here. Hey, God is yes. We are praying. God is breaking here. Utu Job. Job says he fears the Lord. We are serving God. And Job. Uchobe foot. He hates the evil. We are sown the ubu. And Job. Uchobe foot. I was on the still with me. God is explaining. He says there is none like him. And the devil, if you read down, he's saying, I want him because simply because of that and because of that that he is, you have strengthened the hedge around him. In other words, if you live this kind of life, the fear of God, and number two, hating evil, number three, if you, if God says there is none like you, you are peculiar, you are different, then God creates the hedge. In other words, the hedge is not for everybody. The hedge is for those that fears the Lord. For those that hates evil. And for those that will, 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 will walk upright. God creates the hedge. And then he said, he fears you. He does those things. Because of the hedge. God is being when, I was God, when I was reading this, Sometimes, I stopped a little bit. And I said, hey, something that will never come to me because of taking the decision of going upright in front of God something that will never come even whatsoever that may happen and then he asked of his life and then God said okay go touch whatever but not his soul ah. even when God allows the devil. But there are restricted areas. Restricted areas. Don't touch the soul. You can touch everything. And this fool was. And he started the children, all of them in just one day. And the Bible says he had seven sons. They all died instead in one day. Why God will you allow such things to happen to a person that you are breaking about? Can I help somebody today? Because of what you are going through, you, th you think that God has forgotten about you. But let me tell you, he knows why he allowed the devil. And he has restricted the devil not to get into, into the most precious places. And the fool and all the children died. Number two, I'm a business on and all the business. Ah, they all perish just in one day. 
Why would God allow the Russians to go through this thing? Are you still with me, Basalwan? You are starting to understand this. And then Islam Sakube. And the fool continues. And just one day, Safiga Samosha is entered into the wine. In this day, what Ungoskas, eh? And the one said. Just inside this corner and die. No, it's not like that. I'm I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to No, no. Then, then he said, Why said she he? said, Tuga, Unkulungulu, when's the journey? Inside the go and die. And then, and then the man of God stood and said, I came naked. And I will go back naked. And he said, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes. This man was able. Uh, let, 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 let me say these things. You know, you know, this man Landota. hated evil. Yep, so the this man Landota. was upright. Yeah, he was a righteous man. Landota. This man, Landota. this man Landota. was perfect before God. But he lost everything. God the footy, yalla he lost everything. Yalla the losing of everything does not mean that you are a bad person. The devil is trying to fight the big thing that is about to happen into your life. I, I can I can I can I can I can say this but with much freedom and say Giti. when the destiny or the vision or the some something that will be given back by your vision is going to be big you will see greater pain you will go through greater pain so now now this is this is what i want you to catch and then when he lost everything he's not only russia's he's not only fearing God. he's not only hating evil he knew how to worship in the midst of a loss. Okay, 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 okay. If you are worshipping because you have everything, it simply means that you haven't understood the walking with God. Because when you are walking with God, you worship even in the midst of the greatest, the cross pain. You lift up your hands what you have lost. And you lift up your hands what you have lost. Lift up your hands what you have Praise be the name of the Lord. Don't you think that was done? Oh, Paul, no Silas. Paul and Silas. But fellow, but Paramis is on. Lift up your hands. But you move. Let me tell you, church, learn to worship God in the midst of your pain, in the midst of your loss, because when you do that, you qualify yourself for a great thing that God is bringing unto you. There's something coming and coming. And and the, and the devil can throw whatever, but he cannot stop you. Something is coming to you. Don't lose holiness. Don't lose perfection. Don't lose. Don't lose walking with God. Just allow losing money, losing 
stand in the midst of the Lord. Worshiping God with tears. Praise be. The name of Jehovah. Say where you flow. Praise be. Come on, let me finish this. Let me finish this. Let me finish this. This is the fact that we don't want to hear about. That God allows those that He has chosen to go through some pain. He allows. We are for When you go through pain, don't remove your eyes from the ball. No, I feel it. But don't remove your eyes. Don't remove your I eyes. I know me in your God. To a God. There is no canon. The canon is dead. No, me, no, I lose. Even the snakes are biting. Learn to worship God. When the venomous snakes are biting you, you left left and and right. Right. He allows those He has chosen to go through some pains. You see, Job, Job as a run. Yeah, but Job is saying. He is saying these words. Ushulamaz. He's saying these words. Ushulamaz. Because he lost the wives. And and he lost friends. friends. Wala sela fusi na maso ba ke. Abangani. The friends. Just, says. When when zenga kanje ngoba uli. He's appearing to you because you have seen. Oh, elfas la. These elfas. Agar chok fundo ngabizor. That we learned about yesterday. If it was according to me, I will seek God and put my metal. That verse is not a verse that is so powerful. Verse that was blaming God. Job. How can this thing occur? If you believe and being saved, how can this thing take place? Came a time where Israel according to me. I will seek God and put my metal. Why am I lost in so much in my life? The seeking. This was not such a seeking of the purpose of God. It was the friends that is seek for him. Because he has allowed these things because of your sin. And then when you come to verse nine, go to chapter number 20, 21. Chapter 20, verse number 21. He stands. We are man. You know, you know, Barcelona, you, you really don't know how job, what job was going through. You really don't know. You know, you know job at that time. You are job analysis guy. But you are why in a skin cancer? Yes, skin cancer. When he was sleeping, the balls were licking and removing with the skin. When he's rising, and the skins were left there where he was sleeping. When he's sleeping on another side, when he was rising, and the skin was left there where he was sleeping. That's when you sing this. His skin being filled in the house. And his flesh being torn. But I know. My redeemer. That he is dead. Even if my skin. Is flowing away. Even if. My flesh. Is taken away from my God. I will look at God. Being free. Why would God allow such situations for a man that he bragged about him so much to go through such things? Because if you are chosen, he chooses you before the foundation of the world. So that whatever that will happen into your life can never kill you. 
Even if you lose your own skin, no, you can know. never lose what he has spoken about, what he chose you to be. <laughs> the chosen victory is <laughs> short. <laughs> your figures, your figures will come there. Those who 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 will come there. It is assured. You're not going to lose it now. Job, he's saying at the end. Job, when I lost everything, I did not know what you were doing. When I lost children, they, they, the statement that fits in the life of Job. It it says, is the the man that had everything. And lost everything. Job is saying that I lost everything. And received it back. Times two. Times two. That's the statement that fits. In the life of Job. So now, 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 you need to understand this. That, you know, he wouldn't have got a double if he did not lose what he had. If he did not lose what he had. I don't want to say it's a nice experience to lose. No, it's not a nice experience. experience. And when God, God works, it doesn't work according to the age. It doesn't work according to the age. Because I've lost. But I think that will never get you. God can make you to get a child. It's Just a granny. A granny with that. You think what? It's impossible to go there. Going there. Now I've got some monopoles. Monopoles. Menopause. What is that? When it's compared with God. God can do almost utterly everything. I wish you can do that. God can do anything. You see, you see, Moses. See, Moses. He was more prosperous when he was eight. Why? Because he was more prosperous Tell me, what age are you? And you have lost hope. It's because I'm passing through hard stuff. Hard stuff. You must sing a song. Going to clap it in the ball. There is a boy that I will invite just to sing this song. Let him strengthen that your victory it is assured. It is assured. It is assured. It doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter your class. It doesn't matter what you have. And and what you do I know by your, your victory. Go to Nababa, the victory of the chosen. Nababa, catch you where you The victory of the chosen. Nababa, catch you where you are. It's a shot. Good in sexy way. It's a shot. Hallelujah. The victory of the chosen. Goba, Goba, catch you where you He allowed. We are for men. The chosen. Okay, to where you To go through. Go back to the. You see, I will read a verse that. Yes, I'm seeking the verse knowing it is there but not finding it. It was, it was fine by my wife. I, I jumped in alone my shower. I've got the verse. Let, 
I want you to get this verse well. Uh, Psalm 119. Yeah. Psalm 119. Verse 71. I want you to read that verse. Psalm 119. Verse number 1. Verse number 71. Ukuze ngifunde izimiso zakho. Read, read. Read. Umthetho womlomo. No, 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 no. 71. Kwabu ngilungele ukuba ngihlushwe. Ukuze ngifunde izimiso zakho. Would you want to read it in English? Because something something is is too is too big. 119 verse number 71. It is good for me that I've been afflicted that I might learn thy statutes. The statutes. Statutes. It was good for me to be afflicted. Now you can see that it's it was good. He does not say it was right. He says it was good. Because there is a vast difference between two words. Good and right. He does not say it was right. But he says it was good. For me to be afflicted. I want to announce on upon your head whatsoever affliction now don't make us to feel shame, shame for you sorry for you don't make us to feel sorry for you some we've never found maybe if they've never passed in the things they have to pass through maybe they could be so prideful but thank God you have learned you have learned. I love this verse. is the verse of the man. It was good. I don't know. Good. I don't think. Out of a, a person. It was good for me to be afflicted. Not God Him speaking. There are some things that need you to be full of God. Be full of God in your life. Be full of the Holy Spirit. Be full of God. How many of you know how powerful to be filled with the Holy Spirit? How many knows how powerful and so good to be filled with so, oh, to be in the presence of God. You know, David say, even says, It is so good to be in the presence of the Lord. It's like the oil flowing down to the pearl of and the pearl. And even flow also to Let the Let me tell you, I can tell learn you. out of your affliction. Learn out of your affliction. Learn and go out quickly. It was good. Let me close like this. God allows the chosen to go through some stuff. Whenever think these things are happening to you, it's only starting with you. When I was looking at how the disciples the people that received from Jesus, not from any past, from Jesus. Oh, Pedro, Peter, the one that preached one sermon, and more or less 3,000 people repented. You know, Peter, what Shula is next to a guy that was lame from his birth? He said, Silver and gold have I none, but what we have, we give it to you in the name of Jesus. Rise and walk. But that when when persecutions came, he did not survive them. He died being hanged, hanged upside down, out of his choice. 
Mokecha kwa ke. Inki nguti inki inchupego uzbuga ganja. The problem is how do you view the affliction? God allows those that he chose to go through some stuff. When Paul speaks in the book of Philippians, he says, appreciation. appreciation. We are figure chapter number three. We come to chapter number three. All the answers profitable to me. I am to know you. I am to know you. I to know Man, I man, he is telling them, Ugutu, you are not immune, even if you gave, you are not immune to participate in the suffering of Jesus. Again, man, again, again, let me announce some will never like this. We are living in such a moment. Let some of us that will pass through some affliction before Jesus comes. You are not immune to sufferings. Mosukala, please. Don't cry. Crying to us. We ask to be with you in prayer. So that it can feel sympathy for you. No, it does not deserve our, our sympathy. It deserves our prayers, not our sympathy. We are born a mountain to sympathy. When you turn to the world, you will fall easily in pain. Because white people to come and say, Give you some tender. Ah, God allows those that He chose to go through. Go through. Una man. He has the power. Lower ignigi lekale. What they have given you from the start. Ukubuisela loko gulasha gani? Agbuise kpinde. Mie gusata na chabul. Kubese a a a a a para misisanda tingobi. Gantagas. Ukutowe tunkulungu. Usazo shai sabegis. Lakona when the devil thought he is finished, God will turn everything. <laughs> Jesus, something is about to happen. The devil is about to be ashamed. He's about to be ashamed. God allowed those that he has chosen to go through. But let me close. We can count so many in the Bible. You see, Uma, if you allow yourself to be overwhelmed by the afflictions and pains, you will never come to verse number five of the book of Job number 42. Where you say, Now I realize. Now I realize. I thought I knew about you, but it was just the hearsays. It was just the hearsays. But now I see you. I see the whole of you. I see the beauty that you have. I see the power that you hold. I see the glory of God. I see that God is a man. There is power. 
you will come to the experience of the realization that my knowledge of him was not complete have you come into the complete of knowledge. And then you remind, you are reminded of the people that you have destroyed on the way when you thought you know. But you didn't know. The people that you crippled in the spirit because you thought that you knew. You think about the, the sermons that you preached before and you thought those sermons were from God but were from your intellect. Let me tell you, somebody is about to come to the realization of the reality of God, of who God is. He's about to reveal himself in your life, in your family, in your business. He's about to reveal himself. Zambu lengo reveal yourself God Zambu le soman reveal yourself almighty God Zambu le nase katin zokbi reveal yourself in these last days Zambu la Zufuna we we just want you Lord Zufuna buncha lo ba we want the reality of you God Zambu le just reveal yourself I want to come into the realization of who you really are we just want you Lord we just want you Lord Joseph to go through. But at the end, he was on top. He allowed Jesus to go through the cross. But at the same, now he is on the right hand of the Father. Even the, the grave did not stop him. Because everything that is coming on your life will never stop you. I dare you to know that your victory is assured because you are chosen. You are the chosen generation, the royal priesthood. Of course. I don't know what song you are going to sing. But I want the song. I want you to come out from that affliction by the song. I don't care when they did the song. But I want you to come out by the song. There's a song. There's a song. The demon sang a song. When you enter, it's a situation you're trying to get in the last. You'll be singing. Sidulas in twenty. Hezinzima Jalo Sia I'm about to leave you to go now Don't blame anybody Don't blame anybody In the book of Genesis chapter number 42 Genesis 42 and 43 and 43 when when Joseph saw that could save us when he saw his brothers is born number four he went to cry oh my God. stopped and go behind the curtain why am I lay city and cried a car Behind the curtain. Make sure that you don't cry openly. Go be behind the curtain. And then he started to, to say these words. When he came back, he said, 
But what you meant for the evil, God has turned it around for his glory. I am your brother Joseph. The guy that you hated. The guy that you put on the pit. The guy that you sold. Here am I. Standing before you. Give me I'm going to give you free of charge. What you thought you were coming to buy. Because it was initially yours. It was initially yours. Don't allow the enemy to snatch it from you through afflictions and pains and, and crying and loss. Try holding your thing. Try holding your thing. I will never lose what belongs to me. Even when I'm crying. He allows those we are that he has chosen to go through some pain. <laughs> Jesus. I'm going to I'm going to this to to, to 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 explain and put it plainly to you next week. Is there next week? Is there next week? Yes, 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 next week. Those that are going to be in, in, in Johannesburg. I will be in Johannesburg. I will be in Johannesburg. But I have to fly back to finish this. I have to fly back to finish this. I will demonstrate to each and every one of you the people of God that has gone through excruciating pain. But God stood with them through every pain. He does not forsake us. He does not leave us. Even if you are in so much trouble. People may leave you, forsake you. God made me to be blind. Where are you passing through? So that you can be able to pass. And demonstrate that you carried your victory. And your victory was assured. And is assured. And it will be you are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus the Lord. Let me tell you, you are not the you are not the pain. You are the head. You are not beneath. You are above. God is with you. He is working with you. He knows who. He's doing everything to you. And he knows how to take you out. Jesus! 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 Your hands yes. unto the Lord. Things are not just falling upon you because maybe you are bad. It's happened to you. God has entrusted you. The hope of God. Can you touch yourself and say, I'm a hope of God. I'm the hope of God. Kalawas, kai knowing, tears rolling down, but knowing that I'm a hope of God. Losing things, but say I'm the hope of God. Because it's gonna be still for faithful. The one that is so faithful. He's gonna be still be faithful to those who are faithful. For that. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever 
Lift up your hands. It's time, it's time that you it gets into your spirit. That you are the victor. And the victory is assured. The devil was conquered. Even 2000 years ago. You've got an enemy. It was trapped upon the head. You are facing something that is sick. Today is confirmed tomorrow. victory you are getting your victory you are getting your victory over whatever that you are facing you are getting your victory open your mouth pray 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 let the heaven hear you pray the devil thought he has finished about you but he did not know that you will be standing at the end oh Amounts. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we break every chain. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hey, a man to a man to a man to affliction. So a puta, a man. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, refuse, 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 refuse to die in your situation, refuse to be overcome. In the name of Jesus, 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 oh, ya prakasata la babo, hunde le babo sa, loro babo shande le babo saya, open your mouth, open your mouth, let the heaven hear you, he kama liga chase, he kama liga chase, he kama liga chase, he kama liga chase. Hey, come, my little chase. Hey, come, my little chase. Hey, come, my little chase. 
Ukhasela ka Satan. Kuphelelwa ngamandla. Ngegama lika Jesu. Uyaphuma kuleso simo. Ngegama lika Jesu. We thank you Lord. We thank you Jesus. We thank you Holy Spirit. We thank you thou creature. We thank you thou creature. We thank you. Don't give up. You are too big compared to the afflictions that the devil is praying. You are too great. You are too greater than every challenge. You are greater than every challenge. I wish you can take it into your spirit. That you are too greater than anything that the devil is bringing out. Your victory is assured. Your victory. You are chosen. Your victory is assured. Maybe there's somebody on our midst. Who's saying Babu's guy? It's others guy. Pray with me. I really need Jesus. I don't know if the trumpet can sound now. Will I see God or not? I hear just show me by the raising of hand. God bless you, my sister. God bless you, my sister. My God, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, just raise up your hands, my child. Don't put it down. Just lift it up. God bless you. 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 Is there any other? I'm going to say, that will profit a man. Gain the whole world. And lose his life. Okay, to say, Father's God. Pray with me. I need Jesus. You still here? Just raise up your hands much higher. I want to pray with you. The God of heaven may do mercy to you. Those who have raised up your hands, just come up forward. Those who have raised up their hands, I just want to pray with you. Oh, Baba, Giyabong.